going to bed, your blood glucose is lower. You wake up in the morning, it is high. There is a spike. This is a trend that is seen in a lot of people. And why does this happen? Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Any Doctorate Pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor and welcome to the channel. Dawn effect is the order of the day. And what is the dawn effect? Dawn effect simply means blood sugar spike in the morning despite not eating for several hours. So how does this happen? This happens because when we sleep, we are pretty much relaxing and exerting less energy. And by so doing, our glucose drops while we are asleep. And by doing that, the body produces counter-regulatory hormones by way of the cortisol, glucagon, growth hormone, and adrenaline. And these hormones come in to do various things in the body by way of the growth hormone will be repairing the body, preparing the body for the day, and the fight or flight response hormone, which is the adrenaline or the epinephrine, will be rushing blood to our extremities and getting us prepped up for the day. So these are all physiological normal processes. It happens to both type 2 diabetics and non-diabetics. However, it is more pronounced in the type 2 diabetics because one, they are insulin resistant and two, their basal insulin release is also impaired. So you see a more pronounced numbers in the type 2 diabetic versus the non-diabetic. And to segue from here, there is the Somoji effect, which is only applies to type 1 diabetics and in that situation blood glucose spike in the morning but that is because they are unable to calculate the amount of meals they are eating versus the insulin they push in their body so by so doing their sugar drops at night and there's that release of counter-regulatory hormones and that causes a spike in blood sugar so these are the two different things so to contrast there is the down effect and there is the somoji effect which strictly applies to type 1 diabetics so how do we fix this dawn effect? This is a problem for a lot of people. First, we want to get a good night's sleep, at least six to eight hours of sleep every night. The second thing we want to do is we want to reduce our overall carbohydrate intake for the day. Thirdly, we want to eat our dinner very early. The latest you want to eat your dinner should be about 6 p.m. And this dinner should be very low in carbohydrates. You want to optimize protein and fat around your dinner plate and the last thing you want to do is to you want to increase your activity after dinner that could be walking that could be resistant training or that could be strength training so these are some of the things that we want to be doing to help offset the dawn effect uh, consequences because this dawn effect can have a profound impact on your metabolic health so we want to break it down as best as we can so if this content is for you don't forget to follow like share especially for those people that really need it and lastly don't forget to subscribe so the next time we have a beautiful video such as this you'll be one of the first to know until another episode my name again is dr enin doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor with green health pharmacy and functional medicine center we will see you again on another episode catch you later